So I'm sure you guys know who Lizzo is. She's recently been trending and the reason is honestly so annoying. So recently Lizzo accepted a an award for the best music or something at the MTV Awards and during her acceptance speech, you know what, real legends like Mr. Bean go up and accept their award without saying a word. And that's how it should be done. I don't know what's happened over the last couple years with award shows but every chance they get now when they widow an award is just to patronize people and talk about their own political agenda and that's pretty much exactly what Lizzo did in her recent acceptance speech for this award. Only 18% of the people watching this video right now are actually subscribed to the channel. Don't be part of the 81%. Subscribe to the channel you have nothing to lose at the MTV Music Awards. She received an award for best do good music or something like that at some weird award set and she decided to use the platform to say this don't know <laughs> what uh, music video for good means but i do know what your vote means and that's a f lot your vote means everything to me it means everything to making a change in this country so remember when you're voting for your favorite artist vote to change some of these laws that are oppressing us Yes, Lizzo is a claiming she is oppressed. What? How is Lizzo oppressed? She has a $10 million net worth. She lives in Tome that cost $26 million. My God, if I was oppressed like that, oh my gosh, you tell me. I would love to be oppressed like that. And then <laughs> before she went to the show and won her award, she posted a picture, I'm pretty sure, of her taking her private jet to the MTV Awards. It's like, oh my gosh, I don't know what these people are talking about. I think once these celebrities blow up, it's just they start talking random crap. And I, I think I, it's, it's honestly so annoying when I see someone that's worth more money than I will make in my entire lifetime telling me that they're oppressed and you know what they should vote for laws that will support them it's like you have more money than what is what is 10 what is a 10 million dollar net worth now net worth doesn't really mean anything but she she pays a rent on a 26 million dollar home and she takes private jets i mean this shit is really expensive i don't know what the rent would be on a 26 million dollar home but i bet it's like i don't know 50 a hundred thousand dollars and to take a private jet i've heard it's anywhere from like 25 to fifty thousand dollars a ride so she took a fifty thousand dollar jet ride to the vmas and she's claiming she's oppressed and you know what i just i it really bothers me this is why award show award show viewership is at like an all-time low because people like Lizzo now if you like Lizzo music all power to you I'm not gonna hate on you I mean she's made some bangers I guess you know I know my uh, family likes some of the some of her music but she's just so annoying and I, I don't understand how people can be so accepting of her especially when she's like she's she going on she's telling her like 12 year old fan base to go and vote it's like don't tell me who to vote for i don't like when celebrities do that they're like hey i make music and i make a lot of money for music so that means you should agree with my political opinion which is just silly i mean i don't know what she what laws or what she's talking about while being oppressed i mean 10 million dollar net worth 26 million dollar home I mean, I don't know if it's super hard to understand that if you have like $5 million by the time you're like retirement age, like 60, 60 to 70, you are in like the top 1% of the entire world. The entire world. Lizzo has a $26 million home that she's paying off like no problem. That's uh, five times as much as the normal person for half of her age and it's just it's hard to see someone that is in such a well-off position lecture pretty much all the people listening on what they should do with their vote or 
what's happening. Elizo is obviously not oppressed, and there's so many things to prove that she's not oppressed. I mean, I don't know how she can get on there with a straight face and they say that she's oppressed, especially because like 30 minutes before she got the word, she was just getting off her $50,000 private jet. And especially when, you know what, the most oppression Lizzo faces is a couple mean comments on the internet. And if we're being real, if we're being honest, because, yeah, she's overweight and it's unhealthy. And you know what, I'll give her the props because the last time I heard or saw anything about Lizzo was when she was talking with Jideon on a live stream and she was like on a treadmill. So it looks like she's trying to stop that. But then she's also like one of the faces of the quote unquote body positivity movement that I also find incredibly annoying. Lizzo is not something, you you know, the size you should be positive about. And that's the thing. It's like, yeah, you shouldn't be mean to Lizzo because, you know, she's overweight and big but the thing is she's gonna live she's not gonna live past 50 and that's not something to be positive or proud about or support in any fact of the matter i mean she she make a music right now and she's doing things she's trying to leave a legacy for herself and she has like half the time that most people have just because she's so overweight and people are supporting that and cheering that on and i just completely disagree with it especially because you know, that's that's like the biggest part of oppression that Lizzo faces. The amount of people that will reach a million dollars in their lifetime is so far below. And I have nothing against millionaires. I mean, Lizzo obviously knows what she's doing. She's smart with the business of music making. You know, if she's obviously having no problem paying off a $26 million home. And I have no problem with her being a millionaire. But I think it's just that's the only thing that really bothers me that she's saying, oh, she's oppressed. And she has more money right now than the majority of people have ever had. And not just that are alive right now, but like in human history, she's richer and she has more access to wealth and, and opportunities. And uh, especially because, you know, she says, oh, keep voting for, you know, people like me, you know, uh, minorities is what I think she's referring to and that's fine and dandy but she's far from oppressed and she's not just like it feels like she's trying to say oh she's just one of us and when she just got off her private jet and that really bothers me but let me know what your thoughts are in the comments and I'll see you in the next one